Right, also this morning, and you have to hear about this, a once extinct ancient wolf made famous by the hit TV show Game of Thrones is alive and howling again. It's all thanks to a company focused on something called de-extinction. Listen to this. Well, that's the first known howls of a dire wolf in 12,000 years. Colossal Biosciences, which describes itself as the world's only de-extinction company, has announced the rebirth of the ancient predator. The pups were born in October and carry the traits of the long-lost giant dogs. The company took DNA from a 13,000-year-old tooth and a 72,000-year-old mm. skull to create them. Amazing. They used IVF and a modern-day gray wolf as a surrogate to birth three pups in all. People think it's a scary word, de-extinction. They immediately put us with Jurassic Park, and it's, it's not. We're trying to develop these new techniques in order to save animals, in order to bring back animals that, in some cases, were our fault that we don't have them any longer. It wasn't a climate problem. It was a human problem. These wolves are expected to grow up to be six feet long and weigh 150 pounds. The company also has the ambitious goal of bringing back the extinct woolly mammoth by the year 2028. Mm. Those are big. <laughs> we saw also some of their efforts earlier this year with this rodent that Colossal Biosciences says carries some genetic traits of the woolly mammoth. This woolly mouse <laughs> has curly whiskers and wavy light hair that grows three times longer than the than that of an ordinary lab mouse. Kind of cute too I, on top of that. You know, actually, I'll give you that for sure. This is what you get when you get a woolly mammoth <laughs> and a mouse. I, you know, it's funny she mentioned Jurassic Park. That was the first thing I thought I know. of. It, I, I, I thought think that was too. all in all of our minds for sure. Yeah. It's incredible stuff that they're doing with science. Wild. Yeah. I can't wait to see a woolly mammoth in a few years. We'll have to see 2028.